What to do, YouTube? All right, considering the fact that free agency is going to really right around the corner at this point, it's going to start March 14th at 12 p.m. Eastern time. We're going to do, I guess we can do like a little series as far as our potential free agent wish list here. And first player is going to be on the list is going to be Devontae Adams. And there's there's a the method to my madness here because we ended up talking about Aaron Rodgers yesterday, right? So, all right, so Devontae Adams, current Green Bay Packers receiver last year, had a franchise record, uh, 1,553 yards, receiving 11 touchdowns, and had over 123 catches for the Packers, right? So, here's the thing. I'm there's there's been rumors around the the Green Bay Packers general manager of the possibility of franchising Devontae Adams to try to lure Aaron Rodgers back into the fold for the Green Bay Packers for a return for the 2022 season. So I was a little bit iffy about this particularly. But um when I'm Considering the fact that today they dropped the internet, the the dropped the announcement video for the international game for the Green Bay Packers, they left off Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. I'm thinking it's 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 it's, it's a wrap for Aaron Rodgers. And like I said, this is it seems like a, a package deal here when it comes down to Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams as far as the future with the Green Bay Packers. But considering the fact they were left off, it's I I, I strongly believe this is a done deal. For both of them moving forward with the Green Bay Packers. Now, if 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 I'm wrong, the Green Bay Packers can go ahead and put Devontae Adams on the franchise tag, which would put him, I believe, it was like over 19 million in the 2022 season for the franchise tag, as far as what he would get paid for that one year. And or the fact that they just could not come down with come down with a number because the asking price is 30 is 30 million dollars a year which obviously Devontae Devontae Adams is definitely up there as far as being the top three top three to top five best receivers in the game now let's go ahead and look at the Dolphins in, in this in this particular situation here if Devontae Adams does hit the open market currently sitting right well based off the 2021 season for the Dolphins Devontae Parker, we already know his durability issues, his inconsistent he has inconsistencies on the field too as well. We bought in Will Fuller last year to a $10 million deal. Lily played one game. Didn't turn out the way that we thought it was going to turn out. Preston Williams, injury issues, uh, consistency issues, had the drops issue two years ago. And then we end up going out and getting Jalen Waddle in free uh excuse me, in the draft last year with our first overall pick. Here's, here's what's, this is what scares me about Devontae Adams because the Dolphins have had a history of bringing in players where they don't end up performing on the same level as they, were perform, they performed when they were with their previous team. And for example, Will Fuller. <laughs> I understand it's 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 the finger in injury. We don't know what was surrounding the whole situation, why he ended up having to sit out for the remainder of the season. But the Dolphins just do not have a good history with 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 free agency players that perform well on successful teams. That's fact. And also the fact that Aaron Rodgers is one of the most prominent quarterbacks in the league right now. So we don't know what. Devontae Adams' potential is going to be with the Miami Dolphins if the Dolphins decided to make a run at him. Like I said to you before, the asking price to get you through the door is we talking 30 million a year. 30 million. That's a lot of cheddar for the Dolphins. And here's and here's my other concern with this whole situation. I don't even think Mike McDaniel's offense is is tailored around a premier receiver like that because like i understand debo debo was drafted there but really outside of that do you look at look at the shanahan's 
but going from Mike Shanahan to Kyle Shanahan, really, outside of the time when 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 Kyle Shanahan was the offensive coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons, I, off the top of my head, it's only been Julio Jones has been the top, at the top guy, and that's because he ended up having to inherit him. But if we're looking at it, this these the Mike McDaniel scheme and the Shanahan scheme is built around. Excuse me. It's philosoph- philosophized. I don't even know if that's a word, but we're going to use it today. Uh, it's philosophized around being able to run the football. And then after that, they set up the play action for us to set up the short, set up the short game, which feeds off of what Tua can do. So my whole, my whole thing is with us bringing in a Devontae Adams, I just don't see the fit. Now, again, it, hey, it's a nice luxury to have, to have the top guy in the league to come in for the Dolphins for us to, you know, have that have that threat over the top to take some of the pressure off of Tua, considering the fact that we have a lack of consistency at the receiver position. But if we being completely 100 with each other, I'm seriously going to have to take a hard pass on this one. Seriously going to take a hard pass on this one. Now, if we get the if we get the package deal, considering the fact the Dolphins they are sitting with over 60 million dollars in, in in cap space this year. If we can go, if we can somehow make the trade for, make the trade for Aaron Rodgers, I believe this year he's going to be making for over forty six million dollars. I'm pretty sure the Dolphins are going to find a way to 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 reconstruct that contract to to extend him for like another maybe two to three years where we can break that forty six million dollars down, and then maybe 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 the Green Bay Packers may decide they want to franchise tag him and then trade him. And then we can we can we can walk away with the, with the, with the, with nineteen million, and then we can work that out somehow. But as, as really outside of that, if if we can't if we can't get the if we can't get the package deal of Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams, I'm seriously going to have to take a hard pass on on a Devontae Adams in free agency because I know like a lot of folks are out there be like, man, like they, when they put their wish list together for the Dolphins of free agency, it literally was well, I'm pretty sure it's like almost every team they literally won every single freaking player but i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking logically and i'm thinking realistically here as far as the dolphins are concerned do i if would Devonta adams really want to waste his career here with tua uh, at our at the quarterback position i don't think he would so unless aaron Rodgers, we can get aaron Rodgers, and we can and we can continue the success with those two tra- transitioning from the green bay packers to the miami dolphins i don't see it happening but let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Great One DeVore. I'm up out of here.